Douglas Fairbanks and Mary Pickford, affectionately referred to as Dugla and the fiancé of the world. Mary Pickford first gained fame as a Biograph girl after appearing in more than a hundred films for that studio. Later, with her expressive eyes and trademark curls, she became known as America's sweetheart. By 1917, her name spoke for itself and did so from above the titles on movie marquees. One of Hollywood's first bona fide stars, Pickford negotiated all her own contracts insisted on a large share of the profits from her films, and in 1919, co-founded a major movie studio. It's 1919, and Mary Pickford signs contract forming United Artists Corporation. D.W. Griffith makes it official too. And then, outside United Artists' offices, from left to right, Mary poses with Douglas Fairbanks, Griffith, and Charlie Chaplin. The irony is that while a shrewd businesswoman in real life, Pickford was stuck playing young innocents and ingenues in her movies. The public didn't want to see her grow up. It took marriage to Douglas Fairbanks to make them see her as an adult. The couple had been business partners since United Artists, but were romantic partners even before that, and after a three-year affair, finally made it official. They were idolized by adoring fans around the world. Fairbanks was a perfect foil for Pickford's demure, virginal public image. He was rakish and athletic, and in all his heroic film roles could be seen leaping, laughing, and loving. The couple's honeymoon tour across Europe was a media sensation, and when they returned home, they continued their public appearances, doing their part for various charities and causes. Early work of scouts attracted many celebrities to the cause. Mary Pickford watches as husband Douglas Fairbanks goes few friendly rounds with scout making like the then popular Manasseh Muller. It's fast and too furious for Doug. But scouts do good deed with first aid. The couple moved into a home they dubbed Pickfair, a lavish mansion that became almost as famous as they were. But just as they'd invented the model for Hollywood glamour and romance, Fairbanks and Pickford also set the standard for a darker reality behind the glittering facade. Fairbanks was both a serial womanizer and fiercely jealous of Pickford, and tensions grew worse as their careers declined when movies switched from silent to sound. Pickford in particular floundered, taking to drinking when the public lost interest in the kind of innocent maidens she specialized in favoring sleeker, racier role models like Jean Harlow and Katherine Hepburn. In 1936, Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks divorced. Three years later, he died at age 56. Pickford remarried in 1937, but became increasingly reclusive, emerging in 1976 to accept a Lifetime Achievement Oscar before dying in 1979 at age 87. Pickfair itself was torn down in 1990, the last vestige of Hollywood's original royal couple. <laughs>